just say, from the end of the last vlog, hair's done, makeup's <laughs> done, we're good to go, free sort of in, lovely shave. <laughs> little dabber, do ya? That's right. <laughs> you have a good sleep, mate. Eh? I did, yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to go now. There's some dodgy going on here, could right. you, could you just pocket. tell? Yeah, that, that's pocket. That's the, this pocket, the pocket. Why, what's in the pocket? That's, that's the pocket. The pocket, what's in the pocket? Yeah, that's what's the pocket. in the pocket? Come on, what's in the Open shed? the box. What's in the shed? First of all, all day dining. All day dining. <laughs> Why have we got all day dining? Who sorted that out? Uh, the, the lovely lady, because we had some Nikki. problems. Nicky, yeah. 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 Fantastic, yeah, girl. Yeah. yeah, superb. And we got it as and well. Then, and fast passes. Yeah, oh, that's Ooh, bright. Yep, yep. Sunshine. And exit passes. Excellent. Ooh. Absolutely brilliant. Yep, so. There's a saying that goes around about Craig Toy that he gets where shit doesn't. And that's been, <laughs> once again been proven we're getting all these passes. So, um, yeah, I think we should start our day in. Well, our afternoon at Cedar Point on the most glorious ride here, Magnum XL 200. Right. Since we're right next to it, we must. And uh, in the honour, of, in Mike's honour today, I thought get the United oh, top on as well. So, uh, right, time for a bit of arrow goodness. And we've got a new Gemini as well. Yes, it's very bright. Another one. What we're going to do with the one? Raptor. 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 Cedar Creek Mine Ride. That's it. And we've got the old completion now. Yeah. Right. Should we get started? It's still raging all night. Let's get started. That's the way I like it, baby. I don't want to live forever. <laughs> there he is. Hey, there he is. It's good, wasn't it? Bag them. Thing is flight. It is. Honestly. And if you get get it right, if you ride it right, it's okay. But if you don't, would you? It does in row three, I'll give you that. <laughs> it is a great coaster though, it's one of the best here. It's a classic. It is, it certainly is, 35th anniversary this year. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked to see some merch, some merch for that, you know. You know, some actual 35th anniversary merch, but... Yeah, that's actually, that's true, because they even said that this morning, didn't they? Yeah. 35 years old. It would have been good to see a little bit of that, but uh, even so, for its age, it's very good. What yeah. do you think? Oh, excellent coaster. Yeah. Absolutely love it. It just gets better every time we yeah. come over, doesn't it? As Craig says, no, you ride it right, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. There's one wee kink just after the turnaround, you can yourself. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And the air time just seems to be getting better. Absolutely. And better as it's warmed up today. <laughs> Excellent. And it's only getting warmer, so uh, anyway, it's time for us to now go and do another Arrow Classic, and it is Gemini, which at one point, I believe, was the tallest full circuit roller coaster in the world or something of that record it was before my time and I don't know precisely what it was but it held some sort of record for height I just can't remember what it was but yeah it was actually Ron Toomer's favorite roller coaster he was the famous Arrow roller coaster designer was with the company for a very long time and there's a plaque with his name on it right outside of Gemini's entrance so, Riders, 
how was Gemini? It was good. Row free supremacy. <laughs> it's one of those again, man, that just slings you out the seat. Great yeah. walkers. Brilliant Woody, honestly, so good. We got only did the one side. Why not why not both? Both the same though, really. <laughs> you need to sort your hair out, mate. Oh, was it? No, <laughs> no. How was it? It was good. They preferred the red side. Yeah. They're, it's a good classic arrows. Yeah. They after the trim break kind of slows down a bit. Yeah. But the first part is absolutely brilliant. Good airtime. Really good airtime. I was right out of the sea. But yeah, the, after the trim break just runs a little bit flat. Yeah. The, for an no. Classic arrows, brilliant. See what my filming scores now. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's got a crossbow we didn't. Uh, so Gemini, good classic coaster. Always enjoy it. For me, I've done both sides before, so just doing the one side was all right. And I uh, can't get used to wearing this hat. It's a different shaped cap than all the others have had on this trip, but I uh, bought it earlier on. Can't remember how much, but I needed it after the sunrise tour. But yeah, all good. Always enjoying Arrow Crack Classic. And I think Steel Vengeance now, isn't it? Yeah. train this time but yeah all in round how long do you wait uh, about 20 minutes that's all right isn't it not too bad for fast pass no nope. merging halfway well yeah about 20 minutes from the station as usual so yeah it's all right good stuff good stuff what do you think it was actually excellent this time yeah they're uh, really good air time never got bent in the seat which made a big difference and the zero rolls ah oh, Fantastic this time, just floated straight through them and the airtime, absolutely brilliant. I'm having absolutely no luck with Maverick on this trip. Yesterday when I tried to do it, it was closed. Obviously this morning on the sunrise tour it rained, so we couldn't go on it. I uh, just got over to do it with everyone else after Vengeance. It's closed. So uh, I might not even get on it this trip, but I'm going to now have a bit of a wander around the park. Uh, everyone else has gone for food, so I thought I'd have a wander around, show you the rides that we've not spoken about, because we are running out of time. All the rides didn't actually open until 2 o'clock today, and it's 10 o'clock close and it's already half five. So uh, we'll try and show you everything else that we've missed so far, but this place, it's massive, but I'll do my best. start walk over to Maverick and it's uh, currently down walk over to uh, Snake River Falls to get some footage now it's gone down as well so uh, maybe I'll just go and stick to Magnum rather than filming rides because as soon as I point this camera at them going down which is uh, quite unusual actually not really known for downtime at Cedar Point but the weather has caused havoc with literally everything today so uh, yeah I'll move on but one thing I will say quickly about the water rides here is they lack them. They lack a modern water ride, and I know I say that about everywhere, but yeah, for somewhere that's so warm, they need a better water ride with a decent capacity, something they don't have at the minute.
Luckily there's been uh, no escapee camels today. You may have seen on social media a couple of weeks ago that there was uh, camels roaming free around Cedar Point and it was uh, from this area here and uh, just back there where they've escaped from but yeah luckily none of that today. Me going anywhere near animals is going to end about as well as Clarkson's farm does so uh, film them moving on heading around to Millennium Force see what else to see on my way around the park. It's not very good but it's worth mentioning that near Millennium Force is Rougarou which used to be Mantis, a stand-up roller coaster. It's now a B&M flawless roller coaster. And then there's Iron Dragon, a classic arrow suspended roller coaster with swinging seats. It's a bit like Vampire at Chesterton, but better, but uh, without the really good station theming. But yeah, it's another classic arrow coaster here, and there's a lot of them. Um, not one of my favourites, I've got to be honest, but yeah, it's another good one to do when you're here. Another one you can tick off on the coaster count. And uh, once again, thanks to vlogging, I am stuck waiting for a train to go past, so never learn. So we all know that Top Frill 2 is closed, has been for a long time now. Might not even reopen this year. However, you can still buy Top Frill 2 merchandise. So I'll go and have a look at some. Afternoon, sir. Hello. That's that's a contradiction of terms. I was going to say, ready to go, but not until next year. <laughs> Hello. Not too close. How you doing, mate? I've calmed down now. Okay. Yeah. This has got Digital Dan written all over it. Yes. Oh God, yeah. It really has. It's digital Dan, if you're watching. Yeah. You need to come and buy one of these. Let's have a wonder. I think they might need that. They might do. They might need it back.
at that time of a Cedar Point trip where you've got to change your top in breakers because you're a bit warm. More shirt changes than a you know stage show performer, me. But yeah, oh here we go. We've got some fun. What's up, Mike? Hello, I'm mate. Vlog now too. How are you? Excellent. Your experience guide. Make sure you sub. <laughs> so uh, we're at that point in a Cedar Point vlog where we go. We're going home soon, like you know, in a couple of days, and we're not going to be here anymore. So we all go off and lap our favourite coaster in the park. For you, it's Vengeance. For me, it's Magnum. So we'll see you in, well, what for us is 90 minutes, but in this vlog will be about two minutes, where we <laughs> just wrap up Cedar Point and just give all our opinions on this amazing place. But for now, this is where we just go and lap coasters, and I can't wait. I can't either. Should we do it? it? Let's do it. This is it then. Let the uh, Magnum XL 200 marathon begin. Whole group's going for a lap. And then I think Matt, Craig and Abby are going to steal vengeance. Andy's shouting at me, I don't know what for. What have I done now? So this is actually the first time I've ever used the main queue for Magnum. I've always had fast pass. I still have got a fast pass, but it's been temperamental. Right, so Andy, another trip to see the point over and done with. What are we thinking this time? Another excellent trip. Yep. Uh, even though we had that little bit of weather this morning, yep. still been brilliant. By what? Three o'clock? You wouldn't have known it was under that downpour and thunder and lightning this morning. For you, uh, what is the best thing about Cedar Point? Probably the atmosphere. And this year, every ride I've been on has run much better than it has any other year I've been here. I agree. So it's, that's been a real bonus. There's a couple I wouldn't have normally done because Abby's here. Yeah. Went on them again. I was very surprised. Yeah. For uh, reference, Abby is our camera operator and not going to be in the vlog. <laughs> so me and you spent the last two hours lapping Magnum. Yeah. What did you think? Oh, fantastic. Especially that last run with the trim brake turned off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Did you, did you eat any flies though? I did, <laughs> there was a lot of flies, yeah. wasn't there, on the turnaround? Knocked turn down the person in front to get round the turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> then it's, the flies seemed to ease off. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the pleasant bit. Good but stuff. No, I really enjoyed the day. The sunrise tour, fantastic. Yes. If anyone's ever coming here, that's well worth doing. Absolutely. It's worth every penny, isn't oh, it? Oh, definitely. And everything you get that comes with it that you don't know till you book the tickets. Yeah. You get what the meal deal some fast passes oh it's just a fantastic fun day. picks as well yeah fun picks yeah yeah all your pictures for the rest of the day included and your front row ride sorry front row ride yeah absolutely right shall we uh, get matt in he's thinking about what he's going to say <laughs> oh, no. i could tell well. come, come on down <laughs> this, this this part makes you speechless to be honest <laughs> yeah it is, it is nothing more to describe than this place than absolutely out of this world yeah um it's one of those places that you go, oh, it's a once in a lifetime trip and then you come back the next year. <laughs> <laughs> Might be booking some flights next yeah, week. <laughs> yeah. that, that's happened to me a few times, to be honest. <laughs> it's just, oh, what can I say? The hotel, the park, the staff, the atmosphere, the rides. Yeah. What more is to say about this park? How did you finish your day? Still vengeance. How good was it? Um, out of this world again. <laughs> Excellent. That, that, that night ride was absolutely out of this world. Yeah, everyone has a favourite ride. What's your second favourite? Val Raven. It I knew really, you were going to say it that. It really <laughs> was the surprise package for yeah. me. I am not a fan of dive coasters, but that thing blew me away. Yeah, good um, stuff. Controversial, the restraints really, really make it for me. Yeah, So top stuff, and you'll be back then. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go again. <laughs> right, Craig, come on down. Not that we need any positivity, oh, like, but... <laughs> what do you think? Oh, man. You said parks. I've been to a few, as you know, like around the world. But this park's got probably five of the top coasters in the world right, right here. Yeah. And they're just so unbelievably fab. And parks open from 10 in the morning to 10 at night. OK, we had a bit of rain this morning, but we had a brilliant sunrise too, which was probably the highlight of my trip here, I think. Good stuff. But, um, 
Well, I think Martin alluded to, I know Andy's been here loads of times. I just thought I'd probably ever, only ever come here once. Yeah. Be it, but uh, I'll have to come back to do Top Front. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have no choice. It's it's on the remit. You have to do it. It's like a rite of passage, you know what I mean? It's one of those. But coming to see the point for me was, a, was like a, a rite of passage. Just ever since I've been like a enthusiast. I don't really call myself a fuse or anything like that. I'm not, the word know. fuse is awful. Yeah, it belongs oh, yeah, in the bin. Know, I don't like it. Uh, but um, I just, I love the things. I love everything about them. And, the atmosphere is ice because you got the music as well, the vibe is yes. he's, he's just on point all the while, on point to get that CD from the other did. With, with no. four dads in attendance, there had to be a dad joke somewhere, yeah. didn't yeah. there? I just want to say as well a shout out to um, Scott, Matt, Andy and Abby for like all the, the company. It's, yeah. Cause it, like I said, you can get to parks and not have a good time because they're company with, but I know these guys and they've had a brilliant time together. I mean, last night, right. Roy the Night and Steve in. Steve in. There. Are you alright? <laughs> now I'm on, I'm on pop in ice, right? We're not sponsored no, no by them, that. just for reference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, last night ride I had was with um, Abby on the front of Still Vengeance. Oh man, it was out of this world. Right, you've got 10 seconds. What was your second favourite ride here? I, I think Maverick was. We had a back row ride on Maverick, it was brilliant, but then like, now nah, I can't say that because they're all good. Are right, you all two seconds? Brilliant. They're fab fabulous. Magnum's all right. So, that is the end of another trip to Cedar Point, the once-in-a-lifetime holiday, and that was the fourth time for me. Uh, it, it would have been sixth if COVID hadn't have had its way, but, yeah, it's uh, every time I come here, I just cherish it and treat it like it with the last time because you never know when something like COVID or something else could happen and stop you from coming. So, if this place is on your bucket list and you've not been, then, honestly, throw everything at it. Come and do it because... I put it off for about 15 years, and then when I finally came to this park, I've wanted to come back every single year. And I know, I know now that like Craig and Matt are going to want to do it all the time. It's because it's done. You only live once, make the bloody most. Absolutely, absolutely. 100%. So, um, what is it Craig always says? Life is not a rehearsal. Yeah, you get one chance. Absolutely. Work very hard, save up, and you can come here and play. Absolutely. Very, very hard. <laughs> absolutely. So. I ended the night two hours of lapping Magnum. I know people watching this who come here a lot will be like, you're an idiot. I know. <laughs> I have no issue with that. It's For me, it's just so incredible. There is just, the airtime is just insane. It's 35 years old, that coaster. A lot of coasters that old either need to be binned off, retracked or just refurbed, but that thing just keeps going on free trains. Incredible. So uh, we will be back. Probably not this year. But we will be back next year, there's no doubt about it. And I'm certain it'll be the same group, but with some extra people. Always seems to be the way. One last thing though, on the rides, they're all running incredibly. The maintenance here must be exceptional because the rides have never run so well, in my opinion, like Magnum, for example, incredible. Millennium Force, I actually enjoyed Millennium Force. It's like, what? It's normally boring, it was great. But Gatekeeper, even that was all right. And a special mention, to the gatekeeper crew who were brilliant. Special mention to all the staff, just special mention to the whole park. It's just, yeah, it's one of the best places on earth. That I'm gonna end it on that. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It's a little thumbs up below. If you want more Cedar Point content, there is already two vlogs on the channel, Sunrise Tour and a day one vlog. And yeah, if you really do enjoy this video and want us to come back and cover it again, please hit that like button and we will definitely come back. Please subscribe, please comment it's to King's Island, and I actually feel all right. I can't wait. <laughs>